Hello everyone, it is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to be making egg yolk cookies. Now it claims that if you just use the yolks instead of the whites too, that they will be fluffier. We're going to see. I'm just going to try it. Kind of caught my attention. It recommends using a stand mixer, which we are going to use today. You will have wet and dry ingredients. So for your wet ingredients, you want one cup of unsalted butter at room temp. I've been letting these sit for a little while. One and a quarter cups of brown sugar, three quarter cups of white sugar, four large egg yolks. They want those at room temperature and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That is your wet ingredients. Your dry ingredients is two and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of sea salt, I'm going to use one teaspoon of table salt, and 10 ounces of dark chocolate chunks. I prefer milk chocolate, so I am just going to have milk chocolate chips, 10 ounces. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is cream the butter and the sugars together. So that would be your two sticks of butter, and it says it might take it about five to six minutes. We'll see. I'm just going to break these in half. Look at the strength there. So that is your one and a quarter cup brown sugar and your three quarter cup of white sugar. You know what? I just now noticed I had one whole cup. Always double check your directions. So three quarter cup of white sugar. Let's go ahead and mix those together maybe for about five to six minutes. All right, that took about maybe five minutes, if that. Raise this up here a little bit. You see everything sticking to the side. So I'm just gonna scrape that down. Next it says add the egg yolks one at a time. So I'm going to turn this back down to low. I'm going to go ahead and plop in one of them egg yolks. Take my spatula out of there. Another egg yolk. Add your vanilla extract. All righty. Scrape it off the sides again. I see a little vanilla extract is on the sides of the bowl. I'm going to do it a little slower this time. Let's go ahead and add our two and three quarter cups of flour, all purpose. Next, add your teaspoon of baking powder and your teaspoon of baking soda and your sea salt or table salt. Let's just whisk those together. Then let's go ahead and slowly add our flour mixture to our egg and sugar and butter mixture. We'll just have it on a low speed. That looks pretty good to me. Let's just get this off of here. We're going to take the bowl out. So next let's go ahead and fold in our 10 ounces of either chocolate bits or chocolate chips, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, whatever you want. I might have to get my fingers in there. Get the chocolate chips mixed in there good. Here it is. One big old ball of cookie dough, which would be tempting to eat it just like this, but I guess they don't recommend that with the raw eggs and the flour, so you guys, you can live dangerously like we used to in the 60s and 70s. But today, I'm going to be good. I'm going to put it in the fridge for one hour. I'll be back. Okay, we're going to bake these at 350 degrees for about 13 to 15 minutes. I'm going to test that out. We're going to make about two tablespoons in a cookie. My scooper is about a tablespoon and a half, so I'll just make it rounded. And 
I let my dough in the fridge for a little over an hour. You don't need to let it in that long. It says it should make about 32 cookies. So we'll be able to tell if I have these the right size or not. And you'll want to put them a little bit apart, maybe a couple inches apart. I'm making some food for a friend who just had surgery. So these are going to be the dessert. Making her some pulled pork sandwiches, some scalloped potatoes, roasted carrots. It will be good. It will be good. Alrighty, off to the oven it goes. A dozen at first. Let them cool for about five minutes and then put them on a cooling rack. I put mine in for about 13 minutes. You don't want to overbake them. You still want them to get nice and chewy in the center. So, now I'm putting two trays in this time, so I'm not sure if it'll take 13 or 15 minutes. They look yummy in my tummy. Okay, see you shortly. All right, time for the taste test. They look delicious. Mmm, these are really good. They're just a little bit crunchy on the outside, but yet gooey, chewy on the inside. I'll get Doug's opinion, but these are super good. Super good. Who says that? Well, I didn't eat. You can't eat a cookie before you have something. <laughs> My mama taught me that. Your mama did teach you that. No sweets, no snacks before dinner. That's right. Is it on? It is on. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh Doug's gonna try one of these delicious chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Most excellent. They are. They're a little crispy on the outside, but yet chewy on the inside. What's different? The yolks, and then your fridge. Put them in the fridge for about an hour. Yeah. They're good, aren't they? Very good. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So Doug ended up eating cookies before dinner. You won't be in trouble with me though, hon. We'll just put this in the fridge and I'll eat cookies. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us here once again on Dee's Delights and we hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. We'll see you real soon.